Hi everyone, Bram here. Just wanted to quickly touch base on a question that sometimes I hear. People that come to my live events, they sometimes wonder like, hey, what's the deal with these special deals? Why is it that they are time bound? Most people get it that there's obviously a reason that, we, that I wanna incentivize people. But I'd really like you to think about the following. When you're in a, in a, in a room with me and we're going through content and I'm sharing stories with you, and I'm getting you from a state where you initially were in your mind and then I'm helping you to actually feel things in your heart and suddenly start seeing a different you, a future you, you potentially been able to achieve way more than what you've done so far. Suddenly you're really in a different frame of mind and in a state of being which I call flow. We sometimes say that we get inspired when we go to these type of events. It's life changing when we go to my events. Lots of people say so. And so the inspiration is a state that I help you to get into. I help you to induce it in yourself. The challenge is that as soon as you leave the room and you go to your old you, your old life, your typical life, the daily buzz kicks in and will really start taking away from that experience that I've gotten you to and worked really hard on getting you to in the first place. Whenever you've got a goal and you wanna achieve it, you need to be first see it in your mind and believe it in your heart that you can do it. Now, that's great when I get you there, when you're with me in the room. As soon as you go back to your normal life, you'll go back to your old you and sometimes a lot of people that I work with, they're not necessarily inspired every day. So they gradually move from being in their sort of heart. They start really going back into their mind, overthinking, overanalyzing, thinking about the same stuff all the time, the bills they have to look after, the, the, the things they need to pay for, the same old, same old. I hope that you get this. We easily have a disconnection between what we really love to do and what we know and feel is right and the stuff that we think we should do based on previous conditions based on past experiences and so there's a disconnect between the two states that we sometimes find ourselves in the one where we really keep on keep on with doing what we were doing which is more of the past and our future us which is taking a leap of faith making a commitment though it's something that we know in our heart of hearts that is right for us it's our gut feel it's our intuition it's our inspiration that talks to us, our higher self. There's multiple ways that we can call it. I'm hoping that you can see the difference between the stuff that we know from our past that, keep, that tries to keep us there, which is us living more in our mind, and on this state of mind or the state of being that we're getting you to when you're inspired and are ready to take a leap of faith. Well, I say in my events all the time, life rewards action. And I personally, in all of my events, I don't care what other people do, but I personally wanna incentivize you there and then when you're already connected, not just to your mind, and you can see the reasons why you should do things, but you know it and feel it in your heart. When you are there, chances are that you are aligned with your future more so than connected to your past. And I know that sometimes people find that very hard because they think, ah, oh, but I've got all these bills to pay and I've got these things to look after. Guess what? If you keep being, thinking with that in mind, you stay in your past and you keep repeating it. As soon as you take a leap of faith, and particularly with me, that you say, Bram, I wanna make a token investment in something that is of value to me that will get me closer to the goals in the future rather than keep being stuck in the past. As soon as you do that, I personally wanna reward you for it because I know that life rewards action. As soon as you make that token investment, it shows or you tell the universe pretty much that you're serious, not just curious, not just the one to be, not just somebody that says, yes, you know, I'd love to, but, as soon as you have that sort of thinking, you're in your past, you're stuck. But as soon as you say, you know what, I give myself permission to step into my greatness and I'm taking the first step today. I don't necessarily know how I'm going to make it at the end, but guess what? It's important for me to go there 
rather than go back over there where and keep going in you know the rat race so to speak just being on the treadmill and just keep somehow making ends meet next time when you come to my event are you ready to take a jump of faith if so i'll reward you because what guess what life rewards action especially when you're inspired and you, you take action on your inspiration you're aligning yourself with your future and it's in your future that your greatest achievements lie not in your past before we're saying goodbye in this video here I like to take a specific time to thank two individuals that inspired me to actually record this video. One is called Doug and his wife Lisa. Thanks to you two, I thought that this would be a great way to, uh, to put this content together and I really much appreciate your comments and look forward to working with you also in the near future. My name is Bram, have a great day, cheers.